Huntington's for us was always there because Pat's father had five brothers and they all had Huntington's and they had all passed away before Pat's dad was always part of the family. It was probably about a year to two years after I retired that Pat, you can see the HD was starting to really progress. And over time, I started having to do all the cooking, all the cleaning, and it kept just progressing, progressing, progressing. It just, the HD, once it starts, it doesn't really slow down. Each and every year that went by, I was becoming more and more of a caretaker. And it's, it's really, really hard. It zaps everything out of you. But if I had to do it all over again, I'd do the same thing. loving man. He cares so much about my mom, about this awareness. He cares about my kids and about my sisters. And he really brings this family together a lot. I think if we didn't have my dad, I don't think we would be where we are right now. I feel like now I can help people who are in similar circumstances understand that you're not alone. And I do believe by sharing, it brings about awareness and it helps people cope with whatever they're going through. I'm staying the course and I hope people also stay the course and keep moving forward because we'll get there. Just keep moving forward. For any patient that has Huntington's disease, there's a sense of urgency. And we as scientists, we see the need in their eyes. It helps drive our research in a way that really is remarkable. The way we're working on improving genetic therapies for disorders like Huntington's disease is to optimize the packaging, the way we deliver it, the way we get it into the brain so that it goes where we need it the most. We can figure out what are the small, subtle changes that are happening in patients' brains that we may be able to target pharmacologically, with drugs, or through other means. For HD, we're putting all of our bets on all the tables.